the dominant memories were of my grandmother, who would run out to the car and grab us kids, myself and my brother Jim, and give us a big hug. And that was always quite a experience for us because our family were not demonstrative folks. So she was one of the huggers and kissers that we just uh, dearly loved, but made us a little uncomfortable too because it was so unusual. She was just a little ball of fire and sweet to everybody. All of her daughters-in-law just thought she was wonderful. She made everybody feel just very much accepted and loved for who they were and, and what their background was. And she had lots of clever little witty songs and she would dance to some of them. And one of the things she was famous for was how she could put a meal on the table in just no time at all. And she was a little lady, but she could run fast. And she'd run down the chickens, the friars that she was raising, and chop their heads off, maybe 10 birds, and cook them for dinner and have dinner on the table by the time the pastor and the wife found their way out to the farm after church. One of the chores that kids got to help grandma with was going out in the pasture, dairy cow pasture, right close to the farm, and picking up manure to cook with in this, what we normally think of as a wood-burning range, but there was not a lot of wood in the prairie, you cooked with cow manure, and you get a real hot, fast fire out of cow chips. So that was probably part of her secret of how she could get chicken cooked in <laughs> a length of time. She probably had the oven hot before she went to church, too, I'm, I'm suspicious. but.